H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. So what your developer will ask, can you please provide the screenshots, can you please provide the logs? Because when you are giving this log files to that uh, developer, it is easy for them to fix. Log files is nothing but the communication happening with your server. So what is happening? So when you are sending, when you are uh, doing any actions with your application, for each and every action it will capture in the logs. So that by seeing the logs you will come to know that what could be the error message. So here let me show you one error message here. I will show you one error message here. Okay. Here my intention is to show you one error message. Okay. See, if you see this one, right, if I am trying this scenario, and I am trying to send a payment with the invalid details, uh, then I am getting this uh, crash. Crash is nothing but my application is closing automatically. Whenever that application is closing automatically, then we will call it as it is a crash. Once your application is crashing, what you will do? You will report a defect. When you are reporting your defect, then if you say that simply application is crashing, your developer may not understand why it is crashing. For this, what you can do is, it is better to provide the log files. So screenshot, you know that, just you can go here and then click on your screenshot, then that particular screen will be captured here. Then that particular screen will be captured here. However, if you go here, if you say that now this option, if you go here and if you say that get logs, if you say that get logs then the log files for that particular device will be captured here. These are all the log files for that particular device. Now what you can do is you can take this logs and send it to your developer or attach with your defect so that your developer can easily understand what is the defect all about and then why your application is failing with this scenario. Then you can easily understand. It's mandate to attach the log files for this kind of crash issues. Okay. Right. So if you want to send it like right, what you can do is you can copy. You can copy. So Ruchi right, what you can do is you can copy and you can paste in a notepad and send it. Okay, so now what you can do is, if you want to send this one, just copy everything, control A, control C, go to your notepad and paste it, that's fine. Control V and then save as, save as logs and then attach to your defect and share it to your developer. So. Right here, right, when you are getting this kind of issues, you should have, uh, you should have like the complete information, then only your developer can understand what is that issue all about. Otherwise, if you are simply saying that uh, I am getting this error, right, developer may not understand. And for uh, developer also, fixing the issues is very difficult without having the complete information. So this is how you can work with your Android device in Forfetto. Now say for example, if you want to know your uh, device information also device information also they will provide so how much usage is happening with your device 
the, it will it will also collect your uh, your information like so you can see that how much uh, usage is there so if you want i mean this is not uh, that important however if you want to know that how much usage is happening for your device whichever the device you are using for your testing then what you can do is you can uh, go to this uh, tab and when you say that start then it will start collecting all your device information how much memory you are uh, uh, using uh, uh, what is the cpu you say the complete information will be provided here your device information Okay, like this. <laughs> this is your uh, this is your like right how to work with your uh, and uh, in your uh, perfect. Now one more thing here, what you can do is here I'm working here I'm working with this device and then I want to record one of the scenario. That means like see you are done with your testing and then you want to record some scenario so that you can show it to your uh, management team whatever. If you want to record your scenarios. Here you are having one more option here you can see that record. Record it. Once you record it, then whatever whatever the actions you are doing, everything will be recorded and you can uh, use it for your uh, future purpose. You can record also. Yes, that is correct. I need two more sessions. Login. Okay. And fine. No. Okay, Soma. Okay. So like this. Now what I will do is I will stop recording. Let me log out and then stop recording. Let me log out and stop recording. Now what you can do is right, I mean right, I'm done with my application, I also done with the recording and if I want to view that recording in my future purpose or if you want to save it, right, you can save to the same repository, right. That means what you can do is once you save to your repository, you can use it for your uh, future testing purpose, right. So now just imagine that um, you are testing this application and when you are testing, you will be getting uh, so many cycles for your testing. When you are uh, testing, if you want to test the same functionality again and again, so instead of testing that, what you can do is you can record this application and you can refer this for your uh, future cycles. Let me show you how it will show once you once you are done with your recording. See, it will show like this. It will show like this. So you can Ruchi write, uh, you, what you can do is write, once you are done with your recording, if you say that view, automatically your execution, I mean your recording will be played back. Yeah, I will show you one more time. Okay, like this. Okay, you are saying that I wanted to see one more time. Let me show you. So go to your uh, device as usual. Now here I wanted to record this one. Then what you can do is click on your record. 
then uh, you can give some name here you can give some name here okay you can click on ok button then you can record whatever you want company Okay. Okay, once you are done with your recording, you can stop your recording. Okay. Now, once you stop your recording, it will ask you, okay, you want me to share with someone else or you want to view or you want to save or discard. So, right now, I wanted to view this recording. You can say that view. Or else what you can do is you can say that it will save your recording. I want to view this. When you say that view, then your recording will be executed back. Okay. like this okay all right and one more thing is here like right you can also do your orientation testing that means i want to test my application with my portrait and landscape mode if you want to test your application with your portrait and landscape mode that is also possible here so here you can see this uh, options here you can also do your landscape and your portrait mode. I wanted to now you can see this now you can what you can do is you can also do, test your application with your uh, landscape mode. That means you can test your application in your landscape mode as well as your portrait mode. So what is my job? I want to test my application in both my portrait and landscape mode. Make sure that my application is working fine in both portrait and landscape mode. That is also possible here. That is the reason this tool is nowadays very popular actually. Okay. Fine. Okay. That is this one. One more thing is here. If you see here, you are having one concept called repository. This repository is nothing but now, say for example, I wanted to create my test case. I wanted to make my test cases here. If you want to create your uh, test cases, then what you can do is, if you want to create your test cases, you can have your test cases here. I create a test case is what happened. Okay. Now, if you want to create your test cases, that means, right? Now, say for example, I'm having some test cases and then I wanted to maintain my test cases in, the, in this tool itself. It is possible. That means what you can do is if you want to create your test cases, select this one, create a folder for your test cases. So I wanted to have my test cases here. You can create your test cases. You can create your uh, test cases here. Now, if you want to create your test cases, you cannot uh, directly write here. What you can do is you can export your uh, CSV file. Now what you can do is you can have your uh, test cases. I will show you this is my test cases. And then what I can do is I can simply export my test cases to this tool. So that I can use this as a reference. I can use this as a reference for my future reference. This is my test cases. This is my test cases. These are all my test cases. Okay. Now what I will do is I will be 
importing my test cases to here. So what you can do? Upload. Upload as Android test cases. Select the files to upload. I wanted to upload. I wanted to upload this test case. Okay. Upload. Fail to upload. Okay. What happened? Let me try one more time. Upload. What happened? It's not uploading. Valid column 2. For all Boolean properties, we need find values. I load values are true. Mm. It should work. What is the problem? Let me see. Okay. Let me okay, go here, select the test cases, select upload, click on this, upload it, upload, complete it, go here. Like so here, see what it will do is if you want to upload, it will not allow any Excel here. You have to make sure that your file is in the XML format or is it in the .csv file that is comma separated value. What you can do is you can now make sure that your test case are in that format and then if you want, you can upload here. This is one extra option. If you want to maintain your test case in your Excel, that is absolutely fine. However, if you want to maintain your test cases with this uh, perfect tool, also it is possible. I'm telling you, both options are available. Okay, fine. And one more thing is, I wanted to tell you, now the same process, now whatever we discussed, whatever we discussed here, completely, I wanted to tell you with your iPhone. Same process. Here also what you can do is, you can now uh, discuss this. launch your mobile device here i wanted to work with my iphones this time iphone so here you can see that these are all the different iphones are available for your testing you are having iphone 5c iphone 5 s whichever you want you can select the device and then open it and the working with that uh, device is the same process whatever you have done in your android Absolutely same, you will be using the same process to work with your iPhone. The only thing is here you are working with your iPhone. That is the only difference. Other than that, absolutely same. This is your iPhone. 